Bad Tree Productions is filmed in front of a live local audience. What are you doing? This is a place I like to, you know, hang out and think about my poor monetary decisions over the last 10 years. Oh, Jesus. This helps. Well, what are you doing? Mm. Having a refreshing, delicious Coors Light. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I am Jabo. Welcome to Torque Flight Talk. I know you are. Shut up. They've heard you. All right. You're famous. So. All right. So shut up. Whatever. <laughs> Don't, don't. There's don't. a shirt with your face on it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why that People is. want to tear apart torque flights and eat shitty gas station pizza with this man. <coughs> I do. Mm, yeah, that's kind In of In the comments, should we do a subscriber giveaway of a one pizza and torque flight rebuild with Jabo? Can we, like, vacuum seal a gas station pizza and send it somewhere? <laughs> <laughs> All right, straighten up. We could probably do that, okay? Because we've, in, within the course of the next, what, Three to five months. We've got three torque flights to rebuild. Yeah, mm -hmm. we do. Okay. And so motor. the first one's going to be this this one here, the 727. That's going to go in Blake's um, D200, and that's going to be powered by a 440. Yes, sir. Okay? So that requires a, a big block transmission. All right. So anyway, first of all, by no means are we transmission rebuild experts. Okay, but we can read directions, well, for the most part, and we can pay attention to detail somewhat. For the most part. Right, right, right. No. So with that in mind, the first time I had anything to do with an automatic transmission was probably back in 1977. I was in shop class. Uh, some of the other guys, older guys there, they had a, I think it was a Ford FMX or a C4 or whatever. They gutted it with the intention of repairing it. So I don't know if they had a rebuild kit or anything, but they took it apart looking for what was wrong with it. Whether they found out what was wrong or not, but it took a couple of days. But they went to put it back together, and guess what? It wouldn't go all together. It's because the components are all, you know, they need to be kind of clocked in a certain manner, you know, and, and layered, you know, in, in, correct, in correct sequence or whatever, and so, so on and so forth. But at that time, it's like it kind of scared the shit out of me. Like, oh, my God. You know, there's, there's a lot of parts. I, in there's, yeah, there's a I, part. I tore thing. apart an automatic for funsies a long, long time ago. Sure. And it was quite intimidating. Right. Did you go back together then? or No, it was a junker just, oh, just okay. to see what it looked like. And All right. It was like... I was never intimidated because Jay had a 4x8 sheet of plywood down in the basement, which was his workbench. <laughs> and all around the perimeter of the base of it was nothing but torque flights. For the legs. So for, I just the thought the they're normal. Nice. I just thought they're normal, you know, home furniture things. Well, the, for very, a long time. the very first time, now you'd have to think that was like 12 to 14 times ago. Right. <clears throat> I did my first one. Uh, Jay was like, well, it's just... What, how many was it? Three, seven, seven, se seven, seven, seven sub assemblies mm -hmm. that you right. do and you put it back together. And the book we had, which we still have, was uh, it was like 75, 78 black and white pictures. Yeah, yeah, we'll show, we'll show that. That was yeah, that, that was it. And right, right, that right. was the book we used. And right, yeah. Now I can do a torque flight, take it apart and put it back together, and it'll work. Who knows how long. Because usually I'm screwing something up somewhere, but yeah. I don't think I was. I think it was the case of the, anyways. The one, yeah, yeah. There but I can. There, it's there fairly quick. We swap cases, and that was the end yeah. Of the swap case, and that was it. Yep. Yeah, just got a different core or whatever. So there was some issue. We don't know what the hell it was. So, so there you have it. You know, if we were experts, we'd have probably known what the hell that issue was. Correct. There's, there's got to be some kind of like there's something. There's put something a wrong. bar across a bell and do a feeler gauge. Something was cattywampus in it because it was starting Torsional to eat itself. Rigidity. Right, right. Yeah. It just seemed like it was. We we have that on. So anyway, tape. fast forward to say 1986, and I'm driving around in a 1968. Um, 
340 Formula S Plymouth Barracuda that had a 727. Uh, in 1986, uh, it lost all forward gears. All I had was reverse. So at the time I was over in Prairie, I backed it up to my uncle's place and used his phone because it was 1986. Nobody had a cell phone. And there, was a, actually, there was a pay phone close. No, no, there wasn't. And Ronald Reagan was the president. It's 2001 and I don't have a cell phone to this day. It's not 2001. So, it's but 2000. it's not because of that. It's, it's not, not 2021. 2001. Shut up, shut up. <laughs> shut the hell up. So... <clears throat> so the point is, okay, so so here I had a crippled barracuda. <laughs> crippled barracuda. Shut the hell up. So, so I had a barracuda. It needed to be fixed, all right? So right, right. I was looking at, uh, I mean it, Jeremy. You shut the hell up. Shut the hood up. I was looking at grabbing a, maybe a, a transmission out of a junkyard or whatever. I went over to uh, the local transmission rebuilder at the time, and he and I explained the, the issue, what was wrong with it, no forward gears, had reverse only, and he goes, okay, well, um, he goes, I think it, there's like a handful of seals in the transmission. He goes, they just need to be replaced. And I go, oh, okay, so what's that going to cost? And he goes, oh, 175 bucks, probably. And at that time, 175 bucks was quite a bit of money. To me, I mean, in, it's like a half you, year's worth of wages. Well, it's, it, I guess if you if you uh, if you uh, dial in uh, uh, inflation or whatever, that's probably that's probably um, about six hundred dollars to today. Oh Jesus! Which six hundred bucks isn't that bad, you know? I mean, if it happened today, I would have had the resources to have it just rebuilt. But back then, didn't. So I thought, well, what the hell? Handful of seals. How hard can it be? You know. At that time, well, okay, prior to that, in 1978, my dad actually gave me a, a, a Pearson's Big Book of Automotive Repair. And this one's dated 77, but the one I had was dated 78. He gave it to me when I was 16. That was in 78. And I thought to myself, you know, hey, nice book, Dad, thanks. But in no way am I gonna, am I gonna work on stuff from 1978. That was too new for you. That was too new for me. You know, I was I was stuck in the I was stuck in the '60s. All right, so and I was just going to work on stuff in the '60s. But little did I know, though, I would come to use this book because it, it covers everything. You know, from the '60s into the '70s. So and a lot of things are the same. So I have this, and this actually this actually shows you step by step. I can't. I don't know. We got it right here. Yeah. So that actually shows you step by step how to rebuild all the the major the big three. Big, well, big four at the time, uh, transmissions, but they're little teeny black and white pictures. We didn't have the internet back then, all right? Okay, is an alternate word for so. <laughs> We're having way too much fun tonight. So, anyway, you now you're doing it. Right, anyway, right. Anyway, um, 19, er, in 2017, Tom Hand came out with this, this, uh, handy little book I, I don't I don't recall where I saw it but picked it up but if you can it just as a comparison I mean look at look at the detail on this I mean it's all color color pictures and it goes into a great amount of detail and it explains things a lot better than the old Peterson's big book of automotive repair right okay so since that time since 1986 we probably rebuilt maybe 30 transmissions that's about one a year I guess, or whatever, and had probably a 90% success rate. So if you follow direction, if you're able to follow direction, you know, stuff like this, you know, get something like this and follow it step by step. I mean, if you replace everything in the transmission, it should be, and you, you pay attention to the tolerances, you should have an exact duplicate of the transmission that came from the factory. Right. All right. <clears throat> so like I said, we were gonna we're gonna rebuild we're gonna rebuild three torque flights. Uh, they're gonna be two two seven twenty sevens. One's for a big block, one's for a small block. And we're gonna rebuild one nine oh four. That's for a small block. Okay. So so here's our seven twenty seven. This is actually a big block <laughs> transmission. I think from uh, from Bell Housing to Tail Shaft, they're they, they're the same length. Okay, for a small block or a big block. Where the difference comes in is the, the bell housing area is shaped different to adapt to the, the 440. So one quick way to one quick way to determine whether you got a big block or a small block transmission are these two top bolts. And that should measure um, 
Six and something. Six and a, anyway, it's about six inches. Six and a quarter inches, I think, is what the book says. So from there to there. On a small block transmission. The top two bolts here are about eight inches. And they're in this case seven and seven and three quarters, okay? So if you can, if you can tell the difference between this is six inches and this is eight inches, then you can tell if your 727 is for a big block or a small block. Right. So you can easily identify that. So six, inch, six inches or six and a quarter inches is a big block tranny. Seven and three quarter inches is small block tranny. All right, mm -hmm. there we go. And uh, yeah, sorry about the background noise, but <laughs> we like to be warm and <laughs> deal with it. Cause baby, it's cold outside. Oh, I can't, can't sing anymore, oh, Jeremy. You know, this transmission that we rebuilt for the Cuda, I mean, it was very clean inside. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was. I mean, it, was, and it, it lived a pretty decent life, but it lived that life in a truck that probably never saw the high side of 4,000 RPM. Okay, so, so now we rebuild it with a TF3 kit and we've just been abusing the shit out of it. Okay. Kinda, yeah, basically. So, well, TF3. It, Right, right. I uh, uh, Billy Goat, <coughs> Billy Goat Gears. Right, right, right. So, and uh, a little bit of horse sauce, a, a and wrist it. rocket, converter. converter. Right. So and I probably what that, are you thinking? One hundred and twenty horse, probably out of that. At I least one sixteen. <laughs> right. To whatever. the wheels. Whatever. But the thought is, and I've had this happen before. There are some ears on that that impeller. They snap. They're made out of cast. And mm -hmm. cast cast is brittle. I mean, just take a look at your cam video that you guys did. They I see that. that. Yeah, that I was bad. That, that was not good. But they can they can snap. Okay, so the workaround on that is, um, well, I've looked up uh, I've looked up the the pump itself. We can we can pick up a new pump. It's made out of steel um, and it's made by A and A Transmission. So we're gonna look into buying uh, that pump assembly from na maybe two of them he needs one too jeremy needs he a t1000 motor and tranny just liquid metal just so so it can't turn into liquid metal so it's it already liquid metal itself. yeah yeah just don't go around any like super cold shit but i don't think he can uh mimic complicated machines and parts <laughs> that's true gears <laughs> So anyway, then the Sorry, Jay. So, uh, the 904 that's going in the D50 will, uh, it'll be a performance build. It'll probably be a TF3 kit, is what I was kind of thinking. We got a couple, but we might might go. Well, actually, we've got that uh, that cheetah manual valve body might go in it, and there is a 3,000 stall converter that can go in it, but the vehicle weighs so little. I mean, it weighs it's going to weigh 2,600 pounds. I think it's going to launch a tire right so I don't off know the if ground. I don't know if that's an issue or not with that or what, but it's we'll going to be awesome. It'll be, it'll be, it'll I be don't. Cool. I would say a, a, a factory high stall yeah. and a little bit of gears. All right. Yeah. As as light as it is. Well, you know, I tell you what, it actually might work pretty good because the gear ratio in the D fifty right now is like a three fifty. I don't know what because it's an automatic. It's an automatic D fifty eighty six automatic D fifty. Manual would have been like a three ninety one. Yep. You know, manual manual uh, would have came with three ninety one, which I would like to. I'd like to get those gears, but for right now, that stall converter might work. Pretty well in conjunction with the 350s, so mm -hmm. maybe it'll maybe it will launch. Is that a decent. third member style rear end? Then? Yeah. It's a baby eight and three quarter. Yeah, it looks like three Mitsubishi. Quarter. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's it looks just like an eight and three quarter. Yep, yeah. but I think it's like a seven and a half. And the transmission looks just like a torque flight because 904. Because it is. Because it is. Right. But the motor don't look like no 360 to me, Jay. No, it's quite the opposite. It's like a 160. Yeah. It's maybe. A Oh, I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> That's boulder ink tanker material. Anyway, actually, you know, I tell you what, we've got a good run of 2.0 with uh, automatic behind it and an 86 Dodge D50. It runs good, shifts good, everything. If that's somebody, something somebody needs, I mean, get the word out. You know, we've got stuff for sale. The carburetor's just trash on it, though. It's got that Merkin or whatever uh, carburetor that is... A Merkin? Jerking my Merkin. Well, if, I, if you Google, if you Google it, it's... <laughs> It's yeah, like, Google Merkin is what Jay's saying. It's vagina beard carburetor. Somehow. Oh my god. That's weird. Pineapple. I'm calling it. <laughs> hey, that's my beard. What the hell? What the fuck ever, dude? That's Snake my beard. Oil salesman right here. That's my beard. <laughs> oh. That's your beer. 
Well, here, you can have that one back. This is what happens. I'll enjoy. All right, so with that, I'll enjoy I think, this original Coors yeah. Light from the 1890s. Do you have anything, <laughs> you have anything uh, substantial to add or what? Uh, we done with this or what, what are we doing? Are we? I thought you were doing that. No, I'm done. Got a parts list, prices, okay. numbers for my stuff. All right. Got to wait till after the New Year's to call like DTI. Okay, right, right, right. Oh, wait. Heathens, heathens, heathens. Oh, I forgot oh, about that. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> guaranteed to cure fits, shits, or tits, colds, molds, tight assholes. Cures worse than first stages. Guaranteed not to rust, bust, collect dust, or your money back. Not with the doc pass these parts again. <laughs> yeah. Oh. All right, that's going to do it for us, I think. You sure? Pretty sure. You got it all? I, I, I'm pretty sure. Did I, I get everything? You talked fast enough. Yeah. What's that about? Whatever. <laughs> did, did we uh, jostle j brain? You had the whole spiel imagined, but then me and Jeremy kind of clowned around and gave you shit the entire time. Imagine. Imagine what? Come All on. the people. Right, that's what I was thinking. Living no, whatever. all as no, one. No, no, no. Pineapple. Is that your safe word? Mm -hmm. mm. I thought it was potato the other day. And it wouldn't stop. Oklahoma! <laughs> <laughs> potato, potato, why is it not stopping? Oh, yeah, pineapple. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> plug the drill. <laughs> All right. Let's turn it into one of them. So next time you see us, we'll be doing this. All right? With this. And some of this. And none of this. Yeah. Well, except for this. The pan. Oh, yeah, show off the pan, Jay. Yeah, okay, so let's get in this pan. Deep. If you want to go back in time and watch Mopars in the park. Yeah, we picked this pan up, so that's what that looks like. It's good. She, she's a veiny plug. plug. So we got this in it too. It's got this too. Well, you guys are having too much fun. <laughs> so I don't know if that was for... Uh, what were we thinking? For, uh, temp gauge. Temp gauge, maybe? Gear, gear maybe. On to it. I, I don't know. I, or it's also, extra it's training also, fluid it's dump line. And it's actually it's baffled too. So whatever. If that works, it works. If it don't, we'll just whack the thing off. No, it's get rid of it. No, yeah. And you think it's oh okay, yeah, whatever. Cal it's going Carson. in a truck. It'll probably be the only tranny we never had to take back out because of that. Hey, okay. hey, 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 hey! I'm standing right here. All right, all right, fellas. Uh, the shit Jay has to deal with. No. But anyway, anyway, that's yeah. where we're at. That's so, next sode, we'll be gutting the pig. Mm -hmm. And Jeremy will still be looking at that catalog. Parts. Here's, Parts. Here, read Jeremy's handwriting quick. Donate money. Mm. Hey, and once again, Dr. Hunt. Phoenix Bay got some good aluminum heads to get rid of. Let me know. Or, uh, Single clawed tunnel ramp. For it's kind of like at the end of the list, but yeah, that'd be cool. But some aluminum heads. I. What else did we? I, I forced my even... hand at buying new heads because I sold those Iron J heads I had in the car. I sold them the other day, so uh, now I'm missing parts to put it back together. Right. So I don't know. Looking at some different options, but if there's a sweet deal on some good known used heads. I'd be up for that. Right. Let us know. Shark. Don't know how that's dun, 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 dun. Shark, get a hold of me. I lost your number. <laughs> <laughs> My phone got destroyed, so. Isn't his dad still on Marketplace? No, I, somebody must have bought it. Are you kidding me? Cool. The 4x4 Akuda. God dang it. That's what I was going to call it. The 4x4 Who bought that? The, the off-road fish. Well, I seen Dylan McCool was looking at it, and he posted <coughs> on his page, Look at this, this is cool. And then Dylan McCool bought that charger from our buddy Jason Chafflin. Yeah. His buddy built that charger on that Lincoln town car chassis, remember? Yep. The Duke, the Duke mm -hmm. charger. When he, when he joined the Facebook page, and yep. he posted all the pictures of the build. Yep. And two years later, Dylan McCool is going and buying it from him. That was so, a cool car. Now, that Duke Boy Charger, Duke Boy Charger was on a Crown Vic chassis, yep. right? Okay, so the latest episode of Mopar Action shows the General Lee flying through the air, and there's pyrotechnics and all that shit. So that's on the cover, mm -hmm. okay? 
<laughs> but so I, I kind of quick glance at the article, but that General Lee Crown Vic was on a Crown Vic chassis. Yeah, that's what they've so been doing. So is that just typical? They've been doing that? When they did the Johnny Knoxville movie, they started skinning clapped out Duddy's version of clapped out <laughs> vehicles. You know, oh. just some 68 through 70 skins yeah. over some Vicks. Okay. Well, it's a, it's a full frame car. Right. And it's, it's got a V8. Right. We all do, so it's... it's sure. yeah. Well, an AMD makes... Every mm -hmm. single piece of sheet mm -hmm. metal. Yep. So that's they, the article. That's what the article stated. It well, was, that's that guy together with all That guy that's Crown Vic did that. Mm. He got the everything from AMD, right? Must have. Well, not, maybe not the roof. The guy that we know about. That's an actual old '68 Charger dirt track car. That was just no floorboards in it anymore. Right, but like the quarters, the fenders, the yeah, it's all yeah. it's all there. It's all okay. there. Right. It's all beaten to shit. Dirt track car. Right. Yeah, so, yeah, I All said right. so. So, yeah. So, anyways. It's hard to do, isn't it? No, it's not. So, anyway, like, share, subscribe. Shut up. Shut the hell up. Uh, Check let's, out some let's, merch. Let's get in here. Do, you buy, know, uh, do not buy a J-Bo t-shirt. Buy, it, buy three J-Bo no. mm -hmm. t-shirts. Each color. No. Buy no. a crew cap dart shirt. No, buy a no, duster right. shirt. Whatever. Buy a hoodie. Check Buy a bunch of BTP out. hoodies. It's cold outside, Keep baby. Keep your heathen soul warm. Ooh. Heathens. Ooh. I don't know if I like the sound of that. That's derogatory. Anyway. Ciao. Bye-bye. <laughs>